Just, uh, I'm gonna do a very, very quick part two to this. My phone died on my very, very last statement <laughs> that I was gonna make in my video, but uh, this will be a little quick part two, and this is to discuss, we already learned that substances, like physical substances, can give your child defects, and there's ways to prevent it, and that's very, uh, like a healthy-based diet, stay away from, sh you know, nasty shit. Um, but there's also, something I want to explain to you that might boggle your mind and I'll say it as quick as I can because I think my phone's going to die but uh, let's see if I can get around this guy real quick alright so real quick frequencies you might have seen it what was that video punishments that I was discussing on uh, how frequencies affect um, your other people you align with frequency just like you align with information. Frequencies, let's let's talk about the defects of frequencies before we get to the, the good effects. Now, frequencies on a negative aspect versus a positive aspect, um, they have a study, I think I've said this before, on rice, where they put cooked rice into three different jars. I'm gonna say it as fast as possible. Three different jars, cooked rice, same exact rice, same exact pot, everything. On the first one, they would write something very positive on that rice jar. With really good frequency, they would say words like beauty, um, just very, very happy type of thoughts on that jar. The second jar would have nothing on it, nothing written, and the third jar, would have very, very, very negative uh, thoughts, like death, things like that. And they would write that on there. Now, this is a study that I think thousands of people have done now. Like, it's it's that accurate where, you know, it's, it, it's definitely a thing. And I know it's definitely a thing anyways. Even if nobody studied this, if people just told me that, hey, I want to do this study, I'll tell them how it would have came out anyways. But, of course, the positive jar of rice would say, or would, uh, after like three, four weeks, it still looks like it just came out of the pot. Very, very, very little amount of mold if it even does have any. Second one would start the mold. It was the neutral one. It'll start the mold. Now, of course, this is an airtight container. Um, and that one would start the mold. The rice would start the mold. You can start seeing it decay. The third rice that had death and nasty things written on it would be totally destroyed. You couldn't even tell it was fucking rice to begin with. And they were right next to each other, coming from the same pot. And it was just your frequencies and your power of spells, which actually I'm going to do an occult video probably this week, um, where I talk about occult knowledge, and my knowledge obviously now, and has been for a while. But you put a spell in a good frequency or bad frequency on something, it alters it. It alters the state of it. Um, same thing with sound and frequencies, anything like that. It alters what the substance is, what the makeup of something is. Um, if you took snowflakes, uh, if you took water that was turning into a snowflake and you just take sound or frequency to it, you can alter the shape of that snowflake. I mean, that's the easiest ways to, uh, to see it, to understand it. Now, of course, in my punishment video, I said that if you're punishing your child and you're yelling at your child and you're, you're having that child respond in the same frequency that you have, which is very negative. Turns him into, you know what, you know, like a not so happy person to get along with. You're going to lose your relationship, not to mention you'll probably go in and out of jail in the whole night. All right, so we understand that frequency is actually a big deal. Now, the negative things that can turn into birth defects are frequencies. When you have a loving frequency, you have a stronger heart. When you have a loving frequency, you have a stronger makeup of you and uh, more motivation. And yes, this actually occurs and helps development. 
negative frequency uh, tends to kill you almost. It wears you down, it gives you lower energy, uh, lower vibration, it hurts you. This does play a role in your child's development. Um, so, what I suggest for you, obviously this whole video is based on if you're planning a pregnancy, not if you're going out there and making a mistake. You're obviously too far behind on this tangent. So a week before you decide to get pregnant, clearly follow what I said in the first video and uh, add this into it. On the day of, of course, you're going to be flushed out your system. Uh, oh, God, I forgot to talk about detoxing. Detoxing is a good thing. Let me throw that in there right now. Detox your system. Complete detox. Um, don't get pregnant right after you detox. Uh, wait a few days after you're fully flushed and fully uh, out of the sickness of everything. Like a full detox. Full detox from your skin to your insides to everything. To your organs, to your lungs, to everything. Do a full detox, a full cleanse. And... After that's all said and done and you're ready to, to get pregnant as a woman, go with your man and have yourselves a nice little ritual. A ni that's probably the wrong word. A nice little... Be loving toward each other. Like extremely loving, like kissing, like uh, holding each other very close, uniting each other's souls. If you know how to do this, if you don't, uh, message me I'll, I'll if you want to see a video on that I'll uh, I'll show you how to merge chakras and merge souls um, Jesus Christ the construction here man all right so what was I talking about oh merge your souls your chakras that whole day make sure you're clean you're very, 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 very much in love with each other and always have the intention of a beautiful child on your mind that whole day. Make it the whole day. I don't mean just for an hour, just hold each other and, and you know, just be in comfortable silence or some shit. I'm not saying that. I'm saying truly merge each other and uh, have the intention to both of you that this is the greatest possible thing. So this... Watch my video, Power of Intention. I actually haven't seen that one in, since I made it, so I don't know actually what I touch on in that video, but you have the power of intention. If you intend on something, it happens. Same thing with prayer and things of that nature. So your frequency and you're aligned with each other, you're, you're uh, infatuated with love for another, you're intending a baby, these are key things that uh, a lot of people just say, well, I go with that. Once in a while, we're, we're in intimacy, we're, we're feeling in love with each other, and then we randomly have a baby. That doesn't help as much as in the moment when you conceive, do not have any type of uh, other frequencies going on other than pure love and pure intentions of a healthy beautiful child and think of your future things of that like that but align with each other and then when you have intercourse clearly don't have anything stupid involved like alcohol um have your uh make this extremely slow don't how do i put it continue the love feeling through intercourse, not busting a nut feeling. Think of it in love. Try to match each other's orgasms. Um, as a guy, generally, you would want your girl to uh, start having hers first so you can match her when the time comes. <laughs> not a pun on words. Uh, but match each other, try to come at the same time with the same feeling. Now, as somebody that sees auras, I know the colors of auras, 
And I've had women that given me the black aura and the white aura before during intercourse, during an orgasm. If you both align with each other, if, if you're at this level, I'm not sure if, if most people understand what I'm talking about at this level, but you have a white and a black aura, one of these two when you come. Um, and either one of them is fine. I mean, you'll definitely have a baby and it could be healthy in the whole nine. But if you want to match your greatest uh, child, it's in the spirit. And the spirit of your child will be of love and good motivations and good vibes. And if there's anything coming their way, they have good health to them. Um, and it happens through vibration and spirit. So if you have this huge, uh, overwhelming, positive, loving spirit, your child's going to develop at the highest level possible. So just in case, if you went out and took a drag of a cigarette, your kid can fend it off a little easier. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not telling you to do that, and that, that justifies smoking a cigarette during pregnancy, but that what I'm saying is, like I said before about the rice, the rice is not, nothing externally is affecting the rice in either three of these jars, other than your vibration. And if that vibration was positive, if something negative was to happen, it wouldn't affect them as much. So think about that in vibration, in frequencies, and in your spirit to when you have your, uh, if you're sexing each other for a baby, do that. It's like a, it's a way for your child to have the best energy possible and then when you conceive stay together don't just put on your pants and go to work stay together for the rest of the day only for this day is it 100% necessary to be this close to each other but please do this and it will help you now I don't have all the answers and I do have tons more information I can definitely throw at you for this video. Like, I haven't touched base on much. But these are, like, key parts that if you understand this, it's almost impossible to have a birth defect. It's not impossible. Like I said, I got tons more content uh, on this subject. But this is out of my mind. If you want to go fact check things and then go take a flu shot and then you have a birth defect, you know, that's on you. I don't fact check anything because perception is your reality. Your personal subjective perception is your reality. But if you align with my reality and you believe this to be true, it will be true. But don't take your doctor's word for it. Remember, the doctors make no money off of you unless you have birth defects and, and problems. If they told you, hey, go on this, uh, stop eating shit food, stop doing these nasty things that are harming your body, and go out there and, and pursue a vegan lifestyle and healthiness, longevity, they'll never see you again. They don't make money off of you. But, if they just say lay off the dairy and you lay off the dairy but you're still having problems, they're still making money off you. You know what I mean? So the doctors aren't going to tell you this. You might say, oh, I love my doctor. My doctor's awesome. He, he treats me well. He gives me the real inside scoop. Still making money off you. If your doctor was officially the greatest person ever, he'd be doing what I'm doing. Not making money trying to keep you as a customer. They like customers, they don't want to fix the problem. Not to mention the whole system's designed to not fix the problem. Going off tangent, align with your frequency was this part of the, <laughs> of the video. So I guess that's it. Make it short and quick. Um, that last bit, you don't have to align with your frequency if you don't want to. You don't have to quit smoking if you don't want to. You don't have to do anything I tell you right but these are fundamental in my eyes and this is exactly what I'm gonna do because 
I have a wide spectrum of awareness. And compared to everybody else, I have to admit I've never met anybody at my level of awareness. Um, you know, maybe I'll listen to like someone who's wildly out there, like David Icke or something. But I don't think he's on my level of awareness. Now, a lot of people are smarter than me. So let's not mix those two up. My awareness level is definitely the top 1% of 1% on the planet. My smarts, I'm not the smartest person. My speech craft sucks. All you have to do is watch one of my videos and know right away that my speech craft sucks. But my awareness is key. Um, very high level of awareness. I have such great awareness that I can probably make it a few miles with my eyes closed driving a semi truck without getting in an accident or nothing. I could probably go a few miles with winds and turns. I, I probably could. I shut the whole nine. Just feeling out everything using my third eye. All right, so again, way off, uh, <laughs> way off tangent. And uh, I'm just trying to show you that I'm a little bit credible in what I'm saying, but I can't just tell you, trust me, I'm the best, you know? <laughs> I'm not that smart. In fact, I'm probably amongst average.